Dear friends, good morning. Welcome to Coffee with God. And I am Father Jose. Let us begin this day with the word of God and a short reflection. May the Holy Spirit illumine our hearts and minds and burn us with the fire of God's love. reading from the holy gospel according to mark chapter 6 verses 7 to 13 passage taken from the message version of the bible jesus called the 12 to him and sent them out in pairs he gave them authority and power to deal with the evil opposition He sent them off with these instructions. Don't think you need a lot of extra equipment for this. You are the equipment. No special appeals for fun. Keep it simple. And no luxury ins. Get a modest place and be content there until you leave. If you are not welcome not listen to why it's lee with throw don't make a seat shrug your shoulders and be on your way then they were on the road they preach with joyful urgency that life can be radically different right and left they send the demons packing They brought wellness to the sick, anointing their bodies, healing their spirits. The Gospel of the Lord. Reflections on the Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 6, verses 7 to 13. The twelve apostles moving out in pairs on their first mission journey to preach and heal speaks to us of the same mission we share as the disciples of Jesus think of what each one of us could do today because the lord has sent us we are missionaries to the people around us our spouses our children our parents our friends our coworkers the people in our parish community let us not forget that at baptism we are commissioned by jesus to bring peace and healing to others this is our mission today to which the lord is sending us to bring liberation and peace to those who are entrusted to us through the healing love of jesus facing the daily challenges in life the word of god calls on us to practice one single virtue trust in the one who has called you because he has placed tremendous trust in you it is the trust that jesus has in you and me that made him place us wherever we are do not fail his trust have you ever felt insecure at home because you thought your parents do not love you or your spouse does not appreciate you ever felt rejected in your workplace or in the church or in the community by people that matter people in power perhaps these are the securities that the lord wants us to give up when we choose to be his ambassadors the gospel demands us to keep your money bag and personal kit that gives us a false sense of security out of sight today our securities could be people's appreciation our social status our positions we are invited instead to load ourselves with the good news and the love of god when we choose not to place our trust in our positions and possessions jesus promises to equip us with all the necessary powers to heal and to fight against the powers of the evil forces and to preach the word of god at the same time he gives us a clue that not everything is going to be all right in your mission there will be people who reject you 
perhaps at home or in the church, in your workplaces, wherever you may be, do not be disheartened. The contemporary reading of today's gospel gives us a hint as to how to respond to the rejections we face from the people. It reads, if you are not welcomed, not listened to, quietly withdraw. Don't make a scene. Shrug your shoulders and be on your way. When we are out there, the Lord guarantees His constant accompaniment and that's all the security we need.